Hello, welcome to more stuff in 3D. So, and today I'm gonna talk about dots and dots and dots and dots or markers as you want to or prefer to call them. And if that's not enough, we have more and more. And the difference is here because these all these ones are the expensive reflective markers uh, which are quite expensive and then here i have some markers non-reflective markers this is only paper white and black and i bought these in two different sizes so what I want to do today is to compare if these work with our author. Let's find out. To test these um, ch not cheaper dots or markers, I'm gonna use the same etch that, um, that I've used um, one or two videos uh, ago, uh, which is um, an RC plane hatch. Uh, made from black foam and uh, we, we, we did notice that this uh, material is not easy to, to scan uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the hotter without markers uh, due to, due to uh, its uh, re reflectiveness and, uh, and te texture so in that video uh, I've, I've used uh, real reflective dots, which are these ones here. And today, I will place, I will place some, some of these on this surface uh, to see um, if these non-reflective markers, and much cheaper than the other ones, can or not work with our uh, 3D scanner, the CR Potter. So. Let's impregnate this with dots. Now I have already placed some uh, 3mm markers uh, on this piece and I've just uh, put in half of it uh, just to check uh, if um, the scanning, if it works, is being really acquired uh, by the, uh, with the help of these points here. Um, in terms of uh, configuration for this uh, for this scan and because I want to use uh, both dots we are starting with the three millimeters one once and um, in a small mode yeah, small and markers um, and then I'll try maybe the medium if we have success uh, with these three, uh, three millimeters even though I'll try the, the six, one, uh, six millimeters once uh, as well on medium with the same part so let's go <coughs> let's see right away if it can and yeah it can just before we start the scan let me try to put just one really reflective dot in the in between these ones in this corner here for example now we know that this one really is reflective and we can tell we can see that it is actually different than the other let's go and as we can see here on our scan software, this reflective dot really is there. And uh, here we can see the difference, the actual difference between those dots. Let's, let's see first like this, if we can get 
scan and it seems that even with non-reflective dots the scanner can see the part but no try to go to the side where there are no dots we have tracking here and as I as soon as we don't see the markers anymore there's no scanning possibility so just to prove that these chip non-reflective dots can actually work in markers mode and just um, a trick if you are having some difficulties you can even increase the exposure just by one click and you're gonna get an even better surface result like this on the side so just for you to see that if you want you can buy some cheap markers and work with them no worries let's pause this gun here yes complete scanning and let's check and the result it's actually pretty good fantastic really great let's just do a processing okay. it can go with these settings I just want to check if um, uh, the markers um, can be uh, can be removed by the software if the software can recognize these um, these markers on this post processing let's actually do another another thing one click process and uh, let's see how the, the the software can handle these non-reflective markers there we have it let's just turn off the, the color mapping is that not like but as we can see in terms of surface it's there so yeah I, I can I, I can see here that this was the the, the real real reflective dot uh, and not the others and it seems that um, the the erase process 
was just a little bit nicer with this dot than with the other ones but overall yeah because um, I can consider this as a as a good scam with these non-reflective dots or markers as you call them so now let's try the six millimeter ones with the same part and uh, in uh, medium medium size with markers all right so the edge is already full of um, non-reflective dots the sheep ones even the glue is sheep <laughs> and let's configure another scan this time will be size medium with markers and yes let's go let's see if it will work so um, right away we can see that even in optimal distance you have to put it in good in optimal it doesn't see the the markers but let's give just one notch of uh, brightness all right that's the trick okay now we can scan it at optimal distance even at good distance and we gonna get much better result always try to keep the scanner as perpendicular to the dots as possible I will not take much time doing this scanner is just for us to see that it also work with non reflective dots okay so let's just rescan here in this area okay now let's just scan this side here have a better resolution on the air intake and maybe on this corner here as well okay I think it is already good enough let's pause and let's complete our scan and as we did yeah it's pretty good is actually pretty pretty good I'll not touch it I will go straight away to one click process and see what what's the um, interpretation of the software to this kind so we have our process completed even though I don't use textures I can say that this one is it's okay but let's see so the raw this is the raw scanning and we can see the dots around there then this is the point the point cloud with the marker removal activated I suppose because um, the computer did a quite good job erasing the dots the markers then we have the mesh and 
yeah, it's really similar to, to the mesh we got on small size scan. And I can tell that, yeah, the scan is, is perfect with these uh, ship dots. Yeah, I'm convinced. Well, after this test, I can say with confidence that, um, well, these dots, these uh, expensive ones, uh, real reflective dots, uh, always work better than uh, than the cheap than the cheap ones but in case you don't have it you can always have a reserve in your pocket uh, of these cheap ones and not only uh, because as we as we saw we can actually scan uh, parts uh, with these dots as soon as we increase just uh, one notch of uh, of brightness in our in our scanner uh, for it to, to to see the um, the markers more or less as a reflective dot uh, because there is uh, so much incidence on on the white part of them that the the scanner will think that these are uh, reflective and it actually works so I will keep buying these um, these markers here, uh, and uh, I will always keep some some of these on my stuff as well. And yes, so far so good. Let's use them more. If you have enjoyed this video, please, I would like to ask you to subscribe the channel. I need subscribers. Give it a like. Uh, let's help the the algorithm. Uh, to consider my videos and my channel uh, as uh, as relevant uh, so uh, i would like to ask you to, to help me out with uh, with views and subscribings and uh, and likes and um, yeah um, i will maybe uh, eventually use these markers on a car because uh, i have a car of a client that i have to to scan some some uh, small parts of it like the diffuser and so on so uh, i'll try to use these markers uh, to see if it works on a car and uh, yeah I, I think i will record the video around that uh, and share with you so um for the, because of that um activate also the notification uh, notifications sorry uh to be notified as soon as i have some more interesting videos about stuffs in 3D. Thank you and see you on the next one. Bye bye.